So here's a quick look at the Djokovic backhand. The first thing I want to mention is the first thing he does as soon as he sees his backhand, he has a whole body unit turn, as you can see here. So his right shoulder is facing the net as soon as he sees his backhand. A common mistake is that you turn too late. And then you'll hit the ball late, or you'll get to the ball late. So Djokovic has a perfect shoulder turn as soon as he sees as a backhand. Second thing I want to talk about, his racket head is higher than the grip level, which gives him leverage over the ball and extra space to accelerate. So his racket head is higher than his grip. His chin is resting on the right shoulder, more or less, in this position. So he's watching the ball over his right shoulder with his chin almost touching his shoulder and this is a big thing as well notice that when he when Djokovic reaches the back position on his backhand his right arm is almost fully extended but there's a big bend in the left elbow this will allow him to extend his left arm out during the contact zone so this is a very big thing also notice that the tip of his racket head is on the same level as his head and the grip is at the same level as his belly, as his stomach. Now Djokovic is going to drop the racket head under the ball level, as you see here. Let's take a look at that again. As you see now, he's dropping the racket head here. He's going all the way under the ball. The whole racket head is under ball level. As he drives to the contact point, his left arm extends. That's one of the biggest things on the Djokovic backhand. The extension with the left arm. So he's going to extend outwards with both arms now. And he finishes with his racket touching the back. But also both elbows finishing up at shoulder height. A common mistake amongst recreational players is that they finish with their elbows too low.